from the Suns making a star-studded roster by adding Bradley Beal, to the Lakers managing to retain their best players. This is why the 2023 offseason is the most exciting one in NBA history. The 2023 NBA offseason has been an exciting one, with many big names moving to new teams with an amazing lineup such as the Phoenix Suns when they acquired Beal. The Suns, who got beaten by the Denver Nuggets in six games, are looking to get even more manpower on their roster. So they went and traded for Bradley, making their team even more star-studded. In the whole league, there are only 11 players who've been consistently balling with an average of 25 points and 5 assists over the past 5 seasons, and the Suns have not one, not two, but three of those players are Beal, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant. That's some insane firepower. The Mavs are the only other team with more than one player in that club, Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. But going for this kind of star power doesn't come cheap. Only seven players in the entire NBA are going to be raking in over $50 million in each of the next two seasons. And the Suns now have three of those seven players. Beal's going to pocket an insane $208 million over the next four years. Booker is going to cash in $260 million over the next five. And Durant's going to make a cool $154 million over the next three. With all that cash going to their big guns, how on earth are the Suns going to fill out the rest of their roster? I don't know yet, but I do know that it's going to be worth the wait. But the other teams aren't exactly sitting idle while all this is happening. The Boston Celtics have gotten Kristaps Porzingis added to their lineup. It's still too soon to say something, but this lineup might just be the hottest topic in the upcoming season. In this mega trade that went down, the Celtics had to give up Marcus Smart, who's a beast when it comes to defense, but they scored themselves a real gem in return Kristaps, aka the Latvian giant. When Porzingis is feeling good and healthy, man, he's got some serious potential. The guy can shoot those long-range shots like nobody's business, and he's a total boss when it comes to defense and blocking. Just imagine him teaming up with Jason Tatum. It could be a match made in basketball heaven. With those two leading the way, the Celtics might just reach new heights and even snatch that NBA championship in the 2023-24 season. But let's not forget about the Grizzlies. They had their sights set on filling the void left by Dylan Brooks. And guess who they got? Marcus Smart, baby. This dude is the perfect replacement for Brooks, and he'll bring some serious defensive prowess to the team. The Grizzlies have this killer trio of Ja Morant, Smart, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Smart might just be the missing piece they needed to make a deep playoff run, and dare I say it, even win the whole thing. The finals could be calling their name, and with Smart on board, anything is possible. But not all of the teams are entirely focused on getting an impressive lineup. Some just want to fix their team chemistry again. And if you haven't already guessed it, I'm talking about the Golden State Warriors letting Jordan Poole go. Ever since that wild Jordan Poole and Draymond Green spa, the Warriors have had some drama going on, which is why they shipped off Poole. Just when he was about to cash in on a four-year, $128 million contract extension starting in July 2023, but another trade's causing quite the stir. Chris Paul is supposedly heading to the Warriors. Now, you'd think it'd be a big deal, but honestly, Paul might not be the best fit for the team. The dude has had a ton of injury issues lately. And even if he was fit, it's hard to see where he'd fit in with the Warriors. I mean, they've got Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, the ultimate sharpshooters forming the sickest shooting backcourt in NBA history. Sure, the Warriors like to play small ball, but come on, there's no universe where it makes sense for Paul to start alongside Curry and Thompson. Now, if Paul is cool with coming off the bench, that could actually work out pretty well for the Warriors. Limited minutes for Paul means fewer chances for him to get banged up. And maybe 
Just maybe, he could survive the playoffs without any major injuries. That'd be a win-win situation for everyone involved. Plus, imagine having Paul leading the charge off the bench. He'd be the main playmaker, and with his help, the Warriors could be on track for another championship run. But the teams creating space on their roster for future talents might also be upping their chances of a championship run. Which was why the Detroit Pistons traded for Joe Harris and future second-round picks. Having cap space is like being ready to spend on free agents, but it's also handy for taking on contracts and draft picks from teams who need to make some room for themselves. The Pistons have been using this clever strategy for the second year in a row. First, they grabbed Alec Burks, Nerlens Noel, and a bunch of draft picks from the New York Knicks in 2022, and now they've snatched up Harris and a couple of second rounders from the Brooklyn Nets. Now, if the Pistons knew they couldn't snag any of those top free agents they had their eye on, they had a plan B up their sleeve. Harris is still a hot shot shooter, hitting a wicked 42.6% of his three-point shots last season. Plus, his contract is expiring, worth a hefty $19.9 million. Right now, Harris's ability to spread the floor with his shooting skills is like a warm hug for the young Detroit team that's still trying to figure out how to play together. By trading Harris, the Nets stayed clear of the luxury tax monster and secured Cam Johnson with a fat four-year, $108 million contract. It also opened up a huge trade exception for Brooklyn to use sometime in the next year. And to make up for the loss of Harris, the Nets are bringing in Lonnie Walker IV to add some extra depth to their wing position. Just like the Pistons, the Jazz let go of a player who was near the end of his career in exchange for John Collins. Collins was stuck in trade rumors for what seemed like forever, and eventually, Atlanta had to let him go because of their financial situation. It turns out that keeping Collins would have meant going over the luxury tax for the Hawks, who didn't have the best record last season and got knocked out in the first round of the playoffs. Instead of keeping him, the Hawks swapped with Gay, who only has a $6.5 million contract that's expiring soon. With this, Atlanta saved 18.8 million bucks in salary this year, and an impressive $26.6 million in the summer of 2024. The Hawks needed to move Collins' contract to have enough money for upcoming free agents like DeJounte Murray, Onyeka Okongwu, and Sadiq Bey in 2024. Losing a talented player like Collins without getting much in return definitely stings. But it was a necessary move for the Hawks since their expenses were getting out of hand. On the other hand, the Jazz are the real winners in this trade. Gay isn't exactly in his prime anymore and doesn't look like he'll be a major player in the rotation. Utah must be thrilled to get rid of his contract, even if it means taking on Collins' remaining three-year, $78.5 million deal. Unlike Atlanta, the Jazz are in great financial shape, and they also have the advantage of having Lori Markkinen, who's on one of the best contracts in the NBA, and the Lakers can also boast about keeping their roster as amazing as ever. With the new deals they've signed, they're getting to hold on to their players for a couple more years. The team's getting a lot of love for their moves to hold on to, or get players like Rui Hachimura, D'Angelo Russell, Gabe Vincent, Tarian Prince, and Austin Reeves. But while these guys have potential, they might not be the game changers everyone expects, and the Lakers have actually lost some estimated wins for the upcoming season. So, this offseason might not be the slam dunk everyone is hyping it up to be. But don't get me wrong, the Lakers are still doing pretty well, keeping Reeves on their team for four years and 56 million bucks is a major win. They didn't face much competition in his restricted free agency, which is impressive. According to the current rules, some other team could have offered him $101.9 million over four years. The Lakers probably would have matched that, but it would have made them sweat a bit. Plus, matching such a high offer could have made it harder for the Lakers to build their team in the future. 
Instead, Reeves will be earning less than 10% of the salary cap each season, which is crazy good value, especially considering he has a solid chance of being the Lakers' third best player. So yeah, the Lakers are definitely winning in that aspect. So there you have it, guys, from the Lakers managing to retain their best players to the Suns making a star-studded roster by adding Bradley Beal. That's why the 2023 offseason is the most exciting one in NBA history.